So, very warm good evening to my uh, friends. Uh, today I'm going to deliver a topic on uh, called life. Uh, I mean, uh, the cell, or it's just the same thing. Because cell itself is the life, because it is being considered as the fundamental unit of life. This term cell was being coined by Robert Hooke. Alright, he was the first person who was studying a plant thing called bark, a dead cell like that. And when he isolated that, he uh, took it and uh, studied under its own made, handmade microscope. Now, you should not get confused that he did that in year 1665 in 17th century and then you only want to devise the microscope. He was the person working in Royal Society, has its own microscope, handmade microscope. So, what he studied in that, he simply studied that the part of the plant which he observed was having an appearance of cell. Since we know that plant cell he was observing because he took the cork sample and the plant cell do have cell wall and it has a lining just like this square. So what he observed was not the cell. He observed was a cell like appearance. So that's why he coined it as cell and it becomes the history that everywhere the basic unit of life is considered as cell. So the credit goes to Mr. Robert for coining this beautiful term cell which is basically the fundamental unit of life. Now regarding the next part, how this cell becomes the life? Now the question is simple, uh, the cell itself appears to be life because it is made up of all those things which are required to sustain a life. For example, a cell can be called cell when it has a nucleus in it. Of course, the cell has nucleus. Now, nucleus has meant that is a central processing unit of a cell that controls each and every activity that we call as the genetic material which is made up of the chromosome in which the DNA exists. That DNA consists of the codes or triplet of codon in the form of gene. So, that is located in the form of chromosome which is coiled inside or supercondensed inside the nucleus. Now, we are talking why the cell is acting as a life. Definitely, it consists of nucleus. In addition to that, it has certain organelles, say, the power generating mitochondria. I written this mitochondria. Then if suppose the cell is autotrophic, definitely it consists of one more structure that is called as chloroplast. Now that is in plant because you observe the plant cell and this chloroplast are mean to having a membranous structure inside called grana and then the fluid of that chloroplast called stroma and there the photosynthetic plants or autotrophic organism produces the carbohydrate of the life and there the life start to sustain the other life to get food from there and the food chain continues but we are concentrating on the fact that why cell is considered as the life because as i said it consists of each and everything that is needed to harvest it has a nucleus controls everything. It has mitochondria, generates energy. It has this chloroplast that do produces the food required in case of autotrophs. Besides that, it has certain small membrane-less organelle that we call as ribosome. Now these ribosomes are common in both form of life. That is primitive life, now concentrated on the term, primitive life that is called the prokaryotes. And the advanced or true life that do mean you means true carriers, those who consist of a true nucleus, they are called as eukaryotes. Now they are now not primitive, they are developed, they are advanced, they are having superiority by having just one unique thing that is this nuclear membrane. And this sole thing practically distinguish the life into two big domains that is called prokaryotes. Those are primitive carrion consisting where the cell nucleus lacks the cell wall. There in prokaryotes, this nucleus is just coiled or supercoiled in the form of concentrated nucleus that is called as nucleoid. This nucleoid is the genetic material or the nucleus of the primitive life that is prokaryotes. Moving ahead, I was talking that cell is alive. Yes, we have this bonding cell wall. This cell wall do get exterior form when it has an interior folding. That is nothing but this membranous structure 
that acting as a pouch inside the cell wall that we call as the cell membrane. Now, the cell, we are moving forward to justify that it is the life. This is cell membrane. Controls and takes everything inside what the cell consists of. Moving ahead, we have a cell wall that protects the cell. We got the meaning that cell wall gives the protection to the cell. We have everything to hold inside that is cell membrane, plasma membrane, or it is called as the limiting membrane, or it is called the covering membrane, or it is called as the selectively permeable membrane, or it is called as differential membrane. A lot of names are there as per the use in different organisms, but it is a unique part. Now, as I said, it has the covering protects the cell, got it, cell wall. Okay, fine. This is cell wall. Something to hold everything inside that can sustain the life. It has cell membrane. Then, after that, it has something, a fluidy form that is present mandatory in every cell. Now, I am using the word mandatory, compulsory. It suppose that fluid which I am calling cytoplasm, the fluid of life, if it is not there, then definitely it cannot act as the life because every organelle controlled by nucleus working in its order sheet must place somewhere with flexibility inside this fluid of life or the soup of life that is cytoplasm that gives an anchoring property that gives a platform where these things should be placed inside. So this cytoplasm or the fluid is nothing but a fluid or flexible structure or the cytoskeleton of the cell is located inside. It has several, what do you call, uh, units that from it is made up of, in case of different organism, it is from actin, tubulin and intermediate filament of different tubulin types of protein that use an infrastructure that each and every organelle inside the cell must reside inside that. Okay. Moving ahead now, we got a protective covering cell wall, then a cell membrane, then the fluid of life, soup of life, that is called cytoplasm, then the membraneless organelle ribosomes, then energy generating mitochondria, then food producing chloroplast. In this way, if you see or look at this, there is need of something which are having a synthesis property or transporting to someone else. Now, you will call the best thing that is a network called as endoplasmic reticulum which takes the order from nucleus and then synthesizes the protein that needs certain modification and transportation that is being done by his spread organelle that is called as GA or Golgi apparatus. Okay, once we got this, they need a partner to digest everything, again a structure inside it that is called as the lysosome. A uh, fluid patch with hydrolytic enzyme that do apoptosis to every digesting act when a cell is dying or something to be digested. It consists of almost 40 different types of hydrolytic enzymes. Moving ahead, these are the internal parts. With reference to different organisms, it may consist of certain organelle-like structures which are exterior to the cell, helps in motility. Now that is called as flagella, certain structures which are uh, thick or what you call thin structures adhering on the surface called as pili, but these are not reflected in a plant cell since we compared with prokaryotes in eukaryote. These motile structures are present in uh, prokaryotes even in certain eukaryotes also which are motile, but in plant these locomotory structures are absent, their gametes can be motile. All right, in different genera and species and different uh, sub kingdoms of the uh, plant kingdom. All right, so this I was just telling that why it should be considered as life because I need to justify this. This is entire cell consisting of all the entire machinery required to sustain a cell as a life. Those who does not obey this got the point. Those are controversial organisms. These are the viruses living at the edge of life. They do have nucleic acid, either DNA, RNA, double stranded, single stranded, different thing. Hardly a protein code called capsid, and then they go and live in other cell host as an obligate parasite. That means they are not enough to sustain their own life, still an organism, but it doesn't have all this machinery, so it is not a true organism, a controversial organism, or an organism on the edge. That's why that is not a life. Cell must have all these things of which this fact, cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm, are mandatory structure. Cell wall you can remove, flagella you can remove, pilla you can remove. And if these inside things, something like cytoplasm dismantled by osmosis or anything else, cell dies. 
cell membrane dismantled, cell dies. Nucleus inactivated, cell dies. These are mandatory structures. Hence, a cell which consists of all this stuff is the basic unit of life where everything goes on, controlled by the genes present in the DNA, which is in the chromosome, lies inside the nucleoplasm of the uh, nucleus. Thank you for watching this video. This is Sardashri. Have a nice time.